I learned this song in Sajo Pete Pan about three years ago for a concert. It was near Halloween time, and I chose the song to add to the spooky mood. However, it didn't quite work, and this is why. I found the structure of the song quite challenging, especially the atmospheric part in bridge and ending. Plus, the frequent change in mood in each part added more difficulties as well. It changes like a young person's mind. For instance, in the verses, I needed to go through the feeling of vul being vulnerable and overwhelmed by the adult world. And in the next part, a bit of uh, hope is presented with the major chords, followed by a rather childlike dreaming section. Finding the right speed to express these different characters one after the other, at the same time making sense as a whole song, was the thing I worked on the most. If I play it too emotionally, the tempo gets slower. That makes the shape of the song blurry and it loses its beauty. And, and I think this is what happened in the concert. I was playing it relatively slowly. By the time I get to the last part, I felt the song was quite long and noticed the audience started losing their attention too. It was a bit of a feeling. <laughs> so after that I worked I, I worked and focused a bit more on what went to what didn't work. And fortunately after singing singing it many times now I feel so I very comfortable too. with the song and, what do I see? and on the recording day I thoroughly enjoyed being in the whimsical world. It was such an indulging time. The next song is Wow. This is the second Kate Bush song I learned after Wuthering Heights. And I absolutely love this theatrical piece. I hadn't sung it for nearly two years and it, it feels very refreshing to revisit, revisit. I'll be sharing the video next Sunday on the 12th of September. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. See you very soon. Matane!